If you're having trouble decrypting an encrypted file with your security certificate, this video will show you how you can use the EDI Dev eSecurity Console to help you troubleshoot the problem. So let's go ahead and open up the eSecurity Console. What we see listed here are cryptographic service providers for the user key sets. If your certificate was installed on a workstation, select one of these providers that supports its encryption algorithm. Microsoft's strong cryptographic provider is the default that the utility uses, so let's go ahead and right click on it. Then select certificate operation to take us to the certificate stores. By default, most certificates installed on workstations are under current user, my path of the certificate store. If you don't find your certificate here, expand the other folders under current user to find it. When you find your certificate, expand it so that you can see its properties. First thing to check if you're having trouble decrypting files is to see if the private key was installed successfully. We do that by looking for a key container under the certificate. A key container indicates that a private key is associated to the certificate, which is required for decrypting. If it does not have a private key, it cannot decipher. So in this example, this certificate has a key container, therefore it has a private key and so is able to decrypt files. While this certificate does not have a key container, so it does not have a private key associated to it, therefore it cannot be used for decrypting. The next thing to check for is the serial number. The serial number must match with the serial number of the corresponding certificate that encrypted the file for the certificate to decipher it. If the serial numbers do not match, then that will be a likely problem why you are unable to decipher the corresponding encrypted file. We can usually do a simple test with the eSecurity Console utility to see if a certificate can encrypt and decrypt a file. So for example, if we want to test this certificate, just right click on it, then select encrypt file, then enter a test file that you want to encrypt. I'm going to encrypt this EDI file for my test. Then select the encryption algorithm and format that you and your trading partner have agreed to use. Then enter a file name for the encrypted output file. I'm going to use the same name with an ENC extension. Save it and then click OK. It's done. Let's open the encrypted file to see if the data actually got encrypted. All we see are jumbled characters, so it does seem that the encryption worked. Now, let us see if we can decrypt this encrypted file. So we right click on the same certificate, then select decrypt file. We enter the name of the encrypted file. Then we enter name for the decrypted output file. This time I'll enter the word plain as the extension. Save it and then click OK. Now, if the decryption worked, the decrypted file should look exactly as the original file. So let's open up the original file. Then the decrypted file. Let's put them side by side and compare the two. And they do look the same. So we can conclude that this certificate is working good. Now, if your certificate was installed on a server, all the steps we did will be the same with what we just did on a workstation computer, except for the location of the certificate. You just have to make sure to select the machine key sets icon. Then right click on a provider to get to the certificate stores. And locate your certificate under the local machine, My Path. Other than that, the rest of the troubleshooting steps on a server machine is the same as on a workstation computer.